Air sign. What's coming in? Air sign. Post retrograde. Aries. Oh, shit. Y'all might be dealing with Aries. Damn, I mixed up uh, the fire sign like that, too. Air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Post retrograde. Mercury retrograde. Let's see what's coming in for y'all. After this, move out of the way for Mother's Day. Okay. Yep, we're not going to take those spirit. I wasn't ready. Thank you. All right. Again, let, dang, some blockages. Boy, somebody is definitely, yep. Again, some abundance, some influx is coming in, some movement. All right. Again, yep, some work blockages, some abundance is coming in. When it comes to something y'all working on, somebody is definitely trying to stop y'all from moving forward, though. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Jupiter, Sagittarius, Three of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Y'all could be having some type of blockage in y'all plans or making plans or uh, staying on plan. Again, Gemini, Aquarius, yep, y'all got y'all happiness. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all right, at the four center of y'all. Yep, Gemini, Aquarius, coming in, strategizing, rational, logic, all right. Again, Gemini, Aquarius, yep, somebody could be definitely uh, having a hard time sleeping at night. Gemini Eve Aquarius, y'all could be focusing on your family, all right, on your emotions, all right, mind over your emotions, getting in control, yep, of your finances and your emotions, this uh, post-retrograde, Gemini Eve Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups, taking charge, strategic, strategizing, critical thinking, all right, let's see what's coming in for y'all, air signs for the post-retrograde reading, I've done the fire sign and I've also done the earth sign, so y'all can go check those out too. All right, Gemini Libra Aquarius, there you go. Somebody's definitely overthinking here. Gemini Libra Aquarius could be blocking y'all emotionally, could be blocking y'all financially, could definitely be like a mental block. Taurus Capricorn Virgo, some creative block. You guys are starting to, uh, again, get out of your own way, get out of your head. Gemini Libra Aquarius, go to sleep with that nine of sword. Somebody could be depressed or having some type of nightmares or dreams here, having a hard time sleeping. Something y'all thinking about is affecting y'all healing. Ooh, whoa, what in the world? Empress energy, y'all, y'all are unsure about something sideways. My empress don't never come out sideways. Yeah, look at there, Gemini and Aquarius, something is blocking y'all. Uh, uh, whatever y'all thinking about, yep, there's a new start, passion, new desire, something. Y'all, it can go either way. Yep, there is definitely some deception here. All right, with the Empress, all right, Two of Sword, all right, again, Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and again, the Empress. Somebody is definitely not feeling secure here. Somebody could be feeling insecure. Damn, that flew in, damn, that flew in reverse, but I know it's going to come. Look at her hair fit. Higher level of commitment. This could be about a soulmate. Stability, getting some stability. Again, somebody is holding on to y'all. Somebody a little bit clingy. Could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a best. It could be a childhood figure here. A, a spiritual father, a teacher. Somebody is being uh, deceptive. And again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody could be stealing something. All right. Again, somebody could be holding back. They want a, another chance with y'all. They want to marry y'all. There's definitely some negativity that y'all may need to cut out here. That is y'all are on the fence about with that uh, Empress turned sideways here. Yep, there it is. Hang man, if I would have picked it up, it would have went that way. So again, somebody's having a change in uh, what they're seeing, point of view. Somebody's releasing something they've been holding on to or thinking about, dreaming about. Some stagnation here. So again, y'all are releasing something, some negative thinking. All right, somebody y'all blocked. Gemini Libra Aquarius trying to sneak back in. What else, spirit, for the air signs coming out post-retrograde? Yep, somebody being sneaky sneaky and secretive. Y'all could have somebody home and family spying on y'all. Again, blocking y'all emotions, trying to hold on to y'all. Y'all could be holding on to something that is deep. Y'all need to go within. I'm looking at Vir Virgo in my mind, right? Again, yep, there's an ace of pinnacle. Money and love coming in, a romance and love. So, yeah, y'all need to take a good look at y'all finances. Do some uh, a restructuring, re-strategizing. Gemini Eve Aquarius. All right, yep, there he is. Gemini Eve Aquarius, Knight of Swords, take action. Something y'all need to take action on, this big, big idea. Could be a proposal, commitment, uh, a rape. Damn, what in the hell? We is not finna take those, but God damn. What in the hell? Oh yeah, this somebody angry at y'all. Yeah, Gemini Eve Aquarius, some ghost or somebody's angry the way they slammed them cards. I wasn't even expecting that. 
All right, again, let's see. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what's coming in? Spirit with this moon card, Ace of Pentacles. What is coming in, Spirit? What's coming in? Yeah, look at there, Hangman. I think it, it flipped in reverse. What else, Spirit, for air signs, post-retrograde? Yep, courage and confidence. Getting the courage and the confidence to face some deep, trauma around childhood, around some memory that you guys could be deliberately blocking Gemini and Aquarius and refusing to face. And it does have something to do with a, a spiritual leader, teacher, or father figure, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and Gemini and Aquarius, some theft or some, some situation involves your higher level conscious or making a righteous decision. This one to come out. Yeah, five of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, under all, yep journey yep king of wands somebody's jealous manipulative yep yep fire sign underneath there so yeah this has to do with somebody coming out of the cold could be a fire sign all right taurus capricorn virgo could be somebody holding back or get ready to embrace some type of difficult uh uh decision here all right it's going to require y'all courage and confidence this card yep two of cups pisces cancer scorpio I turned it over the same way I turned the other one. And see, there's definitely somebody that was thinking about y'all, wanted to come in, y'all focusing on soulmate energy. But if you read it in reverse, somebody's changing their perspective about love, about soulmate, about a connection, about marriage. Take what resonates, y'all. Woo wee. Let's see what's coming in with y'all. Yeah, Empress turned on the side, though. I'm not liking that. Somebody could be not feeling abundant, successful, resourceful. There's that seven of sword again. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is deceptive here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Y'all got some negativity. Y'all got to cut out around work. Somebody could be stealing. Charge Capricorn Virgo. Somebody could be sneaking around y'all job. Being sneaky. All right. Lying, cheating. All right. Again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And there it was again. So it does have to do with y'all work. All right, again, yep, there it is. Empress energy right there. Eight of Pentacles, Taurus Capricorn Virgo. You guys are abundant. You guys are resourceful. You guys are working on something. Yep, Spirit said what Spirit said. The truth, roof. Ace of Sword. Clarity and confusion around y'all work. The negativity. That was a yes for somebody. Cut it out. New cycle. Something y'all about to finish. Taurus Capricorn Virgo. You guys are leveling up. Working on yourself. You know, giving yourself the time and attention y'all need. Y'all are growing. Y'all elevating. All right. Again, work slowly. Don't race. It's not a race. All right. It's a marathon. Right. Again, there's definitely something balanced coming in. Divine and guided and protected. There's an offer, proposal, commitment. Bam. There's some release of burden. Somebody need to let go of. All right. To embrace this page of pinnacle coming in. Yep. Something hard. Some struggle. All right. Somebody struggling to let something go. Or to change their perspective on something. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And it's bringing down, uh, again, this five of pinnacle. Hard time making a change. All right. Somebody could come in and get the courage and confidence to come in. Offer y'all a proposal, a commitment of marriage. And there's some secret because of four pinnacles here. It could be hiding money, needing to save money. Focus more on your stability here. Heart of the matter, four pinnacles, your job, your career. Getting some training, getting some offer. Two of swords, let's clarify. Bam, queen of wands. Y'all do got a karmic here. Is somebody y'all cut off or somebody y'all not longer talking to? All right, they could be a social butterfly. Could be somebody y'all socialize with. Could be a bestie, six of cups. Could be a family member. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but this person was very negative. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So y'all definitely are, uh, this person could be focusing on keeping y'all stuck. Stuff they could be spying on y'all even. All right. Be spying on y'all. Oh, I want some of them. All right, y'all could be uh uh they could be spying on y'all. Ten of sword, bam. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody's focusing on something. They're, 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 they're counting your money or watching your money. Or this person is definitely, you know, engaged, like spending a lot of time spying, spending a lot of time on the internet. Charles Capricorn Virgo, Ace of Wands, they're missing an opportunity. Yep, there is creating some type of illusion or deception or fantasy. All right, 77. Y'all can be seeing 77. That is the 7th of July. That is Libra here, balance. All right, do not even pray Y'all need to focus y'all time and attention elsewhere because it is robbing y'all of something y'all need to be doing. 
All right, again, Aries and Sagittarius, somebody could be trying to distract y'all. All right, do you mind Aquarius being sneaky? Yep, there it is, celebration. It's robbing y'all of some success. Somebody could be partying too much. All right, delusional, drinking too much, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and it is definitely interfering with some type of connection. All right, some new offer and new love and proposal and commitment coming in. Shh, hey, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, yes, yeah, soulmates. Let's see what's coming in. Six of Cups could be family, friends, could be a memory. Yep, there it is. Nine of Cups is family. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Four of Pentacle, bam. Yep, somebody's juggling. Somebody's having a hard time with their finances, staying afloat. Charles Capcom Virgo could be drinking and partying too much. All right, investing it in, in, in something that's not productive here. All right, you might need to watch your finance, Charles Capcom Virgo. All right, because there's definitely something here that is. Stop! Don't come up in here making all that noise and you hear me recording. Go sit down, go play in your room. Go clean it up, as a matter of fact, because y'all left it dirty. All right, two of Pentacle, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, juggling. Get them to clean that stuff up, Kiana, and them bags. Put them in the closet. I'll be, I'm almost finished. I'll, I'll be finished. All right, and again, hair fit here. So again, taking a higher level. Look at there. See, it is somebody. Somebody needs to definitely be in stable when it comes to making a higher level of decision. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, yeah. All right, hiding some secret, the moon card. Yep, there it is, family again, happiness. Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, yeah, there is definitely something secret coming in here. Somebody could be uh, trying to keep something from coming out, juggling. All right, again, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, weighing some type of decision. All right, and there's an opportunity coming. Yep, there it is for stability. So you can regain some stability and get some control with this new offer, with redirecting your finance, with working on something, all right? Balance, focusing on your happiness, your stability, all right? This 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 union here, somebody may want to reconcile with y'all, but somebody could be still cheating or lying or hiding something, all right? Trying to disguise something, playing mind games, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, the Leo, what we got? Yep, Scorpio, it's over. Father fish, father issues, Scorpio issues to be surrounding death, your fears. All right, courage and confidence, success, fears around success, fears around abundance, fears around uh, even death. So ending some type of karmic cycle with a father figure, a passed over loved one could be Scorpio, Leo coming out of the cold, five of pentacles. Yeah, there it is. That offer, proposal, commitment, that change coming in to balance something out. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, an offer, a proposal, or a gift is coming toward y'all, all right? Somebody from y'all past want to give y'all some money, or y'all about to receive some money. Yeah, somebody's very jealous of y'all. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, y'all authority, y'all take action, y'all ability to, to work, you know, uh, through whatever y'all got. Again, hangman upright, bam. Y'all see things from a different perspective now. Y'all healing y'all situation. Two of Cups in reverse. Yep, y'all contemplated over this long enough. Y'all not ready for this. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or y'all just leaving this energy of Two of Cups. So y'all definitely gave it up of figuring out if this person was your soulmate or not. Ten of Wands, that, burst, that person had some emotional blockages. So somebody has some emotional blockages around love up here. Ten of Wands, yep, emotional blockages. Y'all did have some trust issues. Somebody has some trust issues. Yep, karmic energy, addictions, Leo, look at there. Obsessive, past life, uh, past life karma, soul ties, struggles with addictions here, getting control. Yep, Spirit said, yep, getting into balance. Obsessive, new love comes in, courage and confidence. Gemini, Capricorn, Leo, Ace of Cup. Yep, there it is. There it is right there. Voila, there you go. There you go, let's see. Hey, go clean up. Wow. Uh, I was going to shuffle, but we're not. Flirt a little bit. Let your friends help you. And it's safe for your love. So, yeah, there's going to be some offers coming in. Soulmate, one to two months. Yep, your attraction. Enjoy your moment fully. Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, stop and smell the roses. 
This could be the one. Yeah, y'all got somebody new coming in. Religious factor. So it could be a difference of religions. Uh-huh. Express your love. Be honest. Be open. Don't hide. Yep. Again, there it is. Healing family issues. I knew it because it was all around this father figure here. Scorpio or, again, a Leo. Things coming into balance. Things maybe resurfacing about a memory, a childhood memory, a family memory. What we got here? Yep. Again. When you're attracting your soulmate, so know exactly what you want. Hey, what are y'all doing? I don't really see business in here. I see love or I see love, but it could be a little bit of business with that ace of pentacles or with your uh, balancing out your finance. So let's see. I don't know if y'all have a business or not. I'm not seeing business, but I'm seeing finance. So let's see what can help y'all. Shh. Let's see what can help y'all around finance. All right. Yeah, y'all can be distracted when it comes to work. Transition. Change. Changes are coming that require you to shift into a new way of thinking and doing business. Don't resist. Embrace the change. See what I'm saying? That was that 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 hangman in reverse and the ace of pinnacle and the four of pinnacle and the five of pinnacle. That's what I was picking up on, Some, a, a way of doing things, a way of handling things, all right? So that change needs to happen to be successful, profit, yep, to, again, money, welcome abundance into your life, create a strong relationship with money, rejoice in the opportunities and experience it brings, see, that's what I was picking up on, booking clients, so some of y'all can have a, a catering business, a booking business, uh, or some type of business, and y'all need to work on Go in the room and clean it up, please. I am recording. And y'all making all types of noise. Thank you. See, work. That's what I was talking about. Confusion around work. Blockages around work. Focus on booking your calendar with enough clients to reach your monthly income goal. So structure, discipline. So there needs to be some discipline here. And something, is, that's why I said, something is distracting here. Being up all night, being up late, tennis, somebody stalking, spying. All right, could be a karmic energy here. Yeah, broadcasting. Somebody could be going into podcast speaking. All right, again, develop your unique voice. Get Then get your message out or your ideal audience. Consider starting a podcast or a radio show. Somebody could want to be in the spotlight. All right, and don't know how to do it. All right, a speaker more on the air, right? Bam, declutter, clean up the space. Abundance does not come in with filth, with clutter. You got to clean your windows. We get that in the self car, self love car all the time. You got to clean your space. That blocks your abundance. Cobwebs, dirt, filth. Every part of the house is connected to a part of our life. That's that's feng sway. If you start, I'm studying feng sway. Feng sway. So every part of the house affects your money, your bedroom, your kitchen, your bathroom. Your bathroom namely affects your money because you can flush your, your money down the drain, down the toilet, right? So money, bathrooms definitely have to be clean, all right? Kitchens have to be clean. That's your family, all right? Positions here. Clean your kitchen up. Don't leave dirty dishes around, all right? Position, expert, skill, learner, novice, amateur. So, yeah, somebody could be an amateur singer, entertainer, speaker, or want to break in that industry, all right? Step into your power boldly. Own your topic, whatever topic you want to talk about. Be confident. Again, uh, and that's where that empress, somebody was not confident in what they're doing, all right? So, that's why it turns on the side. Position yourself as an expert in your niche. Video marketing, making videos, again, publicizing, share, video, marketing, right? Put things in, in video format and share so it can be recirculated, recirculated, recirculated. Once you create it one time, you don't have to create it again. You can repost it. Get your message out, reach more people, and develop deeper connection with your audience through video. Let them get to know the real you. So some of you guys could be hiding. You could be uh, not confident that you're, you're able to do what you can do or say you can do it. Uh, so it's about taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, going for it, being optimistic. All right. What else? Yep. Diversify content marketing, different topics, different areas. Right. All right. Blog, videos, photos, build the no like trust factor with your audience. But they got to see y'all to do that. 
They got to hear you to do that. So possibly going live. All right. If you got that. Uh, be you bliss curious. I don't know what that is. You bis quit quit quitius. I don't know. In your niche. It's U B I Q U I T O U S. And I'm probably butchering that shit up. Okay, with your niche, by sharing your content on diverse platforms. Create once and share it everywhere, pretty much. You don't have to keep doing something new every, for every uh, thing. You just find better ways to share that one clip on multiple platforms. And again, show up. Y'all are not showing up because look, it was in reverse. And I don't read these in reverse, but that's symbolic. That's with that empress being there and that hangman. Consistency is queen. Oh my God. Consistency is queen. Hmm? Some of y'all need to get on that consistent discipline regimen and show up because it was in reverse. So that's why y'all not feeling successful being successful because you got to show up. You got to have your crown on. You got to be sitting on your throne. Consistency is queen in the marketing in marketing your business online. Show up every day for your audience. Give value and make offers. So negotiation. Negotiation. Profit. We'll bring the profit in. We'll bring the currency in. We'll bring, we'll bring what y'all need in. Let's do this one. And that's it. And I'll be doing the water sign later because these children is not gonna make me let me work. We got pop-up later, by the way. All right, let's see. We got courthouse, Libra coming in. Some IRS court decision could be, or y'all making a decision about this main man, this main character here. And, oh, privileged lady. Somebody see y'all as the one. What? We got, yep, high honor, taking the high road. We got imprisonment. Somebody needs to get out of their mind again. Like I said, Gemini Libra Aquarius could be over a death, could be over some service, could be over something of value. All right. Somebody important. Yep. A courtship. Somebody is in their head. They can't get out over a soulmate connection here. Right. Because remember, it was hangman and then the two of cups right here. So there's definitely somebody could be y'all could be dating somebody for prison or waiting for somebody to get out of prison. All right. Or y'all in prison by courting about this love connection. And it's taking up a lot of y'all time in doing y'all need to be doing for yourself all right again yep false person i knew i told y'all the fire sign false person was watching stalking i already told y'all that it could be a husband and wife it could be an ex with their person you know depending on who which one is playing the ex it could be somebody jealous at y'all work stalking y'all watching y'all at night all right obsessing over y'all fantasizing over y'all again with that two of cups y'all got a courtship coming in somebody's in prison by watching y'all stalking y'all Yep, look at here. Things are taking off. Yeah. So this person definitely is definitely is fantasizing about y'all, trying to figure out y'all next move. So this is somebody trying to stalk y'all and watch y'all to figure out y'all next move. <laughs> All right, in the distant horizon. Yep, they could be trying to get away with something because somebody did try to steal something over here. Gemini Leave Aquarius from y'all. Whether it's ideas, all right, going back, telling y'all work, telling y'all ideas, or trying to find something, all right, again, and somebody getting caught here, getting caught up here. What else, spirit? Yep, there it is, a jackpot, master number 11. So somebody it sees y'all as sudden wealth. Somebody could be an opportunist around here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, yeah. This is y'all reading for post-retrograde. There's some balance. That's master number 11, 11 coming in. Things taking off. Somebody, like I said, could be getting away with some money. Trying to get away with some money, drinking, celebrating, partying, may look at that. Oh my gosh. Yep, great fortune, main man, opportunity. This is an opportunistic possibly person is going on. Yeah, look, y'all expecting some a letter, an invitation here. Taurus Capricorn Virgo, court decision. Yep. Somebody's got a court decision coming in. It's official. So y'all about to get an official letter. Yep. Some money in the mail. Somebody could be looking. There's a lover coming in, though. Gemini. And it was out. So, y'all, I think it was out, wasn't it? No, Herefin was out. Yeah, somebody could definitely be trying to, look, decide if something is officially over or somebody from y'all past is coming back around. And they see y'all as the privileged lady. They see y'all as the one successful. 
This is y'all Empress energy, but the fire sign is your y'all false person. And it don't, it don't have to be somebody y'all was in a relationship, but it could be somebody y'all was in a relationship. All right. Somebody close. It could be even, like I said, your family members uh, watching and stalking because y'all had quite cups out here dealing with love and emotion and family. So this is definitely somebody y'all may not get along with family that, you know, that's looking at y'all, trying to figure out what y'all doing, stealing y'all work, stealing your clients, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you know, trying to mimic y'all, trying to imposter y'all, you know, again, trying to steal y'all content. But y'all can't worry about that, though. Y'all got to keep going. If y'all going to be profitable and successful, declutter, all right, again, clean up y'all space, position yourself, make your videos, come out of hibernation, and y'all are manifesting a soulmate. You know, uh, there's that nine of pentacles privilege lady again. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, stop and smell the roses. And a lot of family, a lot of stability coming in. Leo, look at there. Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, family, wish fulfillment, all right, reconciliation. Yep, somebody could be trying to sneak back into y'all life that stole from y'all, that was talking behind y'all back. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, trying to act like nothing happened. And now they're trying to come back around. You know, this person definitely was jealous of y'all new beginnings, all right, stalking y'all. Yeah, playing mind games, focusing on y'all. Look at that. This is somebody y'all in no contact with. Y'all don't even talk to this person. Very, very, very hardly, if you do at all. You know, you're going within. Y'all are doing some reassessment, refocusing. Okay. I got a new venture. Y'all could be traveling here soon. All right. There's something new coming in for y'all. All right, air signs, that's what's coming in y'all uh, post-retrograde. That was kind of different. My head's hurting, so I know somebody is, is negative energy around y'all because my head started hurting right before I finished up. So there's a lot of negativity. Y'all need to dump out of that shit because there's a lot of negative, evil eye, jealous, uh, stalkerish. It could come from work, family, people that y'all are surrounding. So check your circles, okay? Peace. Love and harmony.